Okay, on this short practical, I'm going to show you how to estimate the uh, the capacitance of a capacitor. Okay, we're going to set up a uh, a simple, straightforward charging circuit first. So let me just run you through that. Okay, here's the capacitor here. We've got a 2,200 microfarad capacitor. Here's our five volt power supply from the other day. Right, voltmeter, multimeter set to measure DC voltage. Now that's going to be across the capacitor at all times. So that's very useful because that shows us exactly what's going on with the capacitor. As we can see, fully discharged. Right, if we complete the charging circuit, we can see the voltage across the capacitor goes straight up. So now the capacitor is fully charged. Okay, did that very quickly. Um, so what we want to do, we want to charge it through a resistor. So there's the short circuit to, to fully discharge the capacitor. Right, we're going to charge it through a 22 kilo ohm resistor. Okay, so, so it's going to be charging a lot more slowly. As you can see, the voltage is, is going up, so it goes up rapidly at first, and then it will eventually plateau out. Okay. Right, so fully discharged. Right, now what we want to do, we want to measure the current going through the circuit at the same time. And we're going to measure the current and time as well. Right, so because we're going to be charging through a very small, through a very large resistor, we're going to have a very small current. So I've got this set to, as you can see there, microamps. There's the mu symbol, so that's going to measure up to a maximum of 2,000 microamps. So that can go in series into the circuit, like that. Okay, complete the circuit. Okay. Now, I've got the short circuit there, so what the capacitor is doing it's actually fully discharging, okay? This, 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 this wire here, so we're fully bypassing the, the capacitor, so it's actually stay, it's actually starting fully discharged. So this is our maximum current at the start, the maximum current in the circuit at the start, okay? So, let, I'll come back to the circuit, so that's, that's all ready to go, and we're gonna press the stopwatch when we're ready to start charging. Okay, so let's just run through the theory a little bit. Right, so basically, we want to measure, we want to come up with the, the capacitance of the capacitor. So, there's our charging and discharging curves. Okay, uh, now we want to find the capacitance. Okay, I'm going to use this equation here, C equals Q over V. Now, V is very easy to measure with the voltmeter, but Q is a lot more difficult, okay? It's very difficult to get an accurate value of the, the charge on the capacitor. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna use this equation here. So I equals Q over T for a constant current. But if we have a, a, a changing current, a varying current, we have to use I equals DQ over to T. So I is the rate of change of charge, okay? Now if we rearrange this, we can we can we can get Q. So if if we stop charging at this point here, we can measure the voltage. But if we stop charging at this point, the total charge is the area under this curve. Because if we rearrange this to make Q the subject, Q is the integral of I with respect to time. So this area here is going to be the charge stored on the capacitor when it reaches this voltage. And that's what we're going to do with the with the graph. Okay. So this is for you. This is your document. You're going to copy down the values from the video. Okay. So we need the time and we need the current. Don't forget this is in microamps. You also need the the, the it's only the final voltage that you need. Okay. Right. Let's get the show on the road. So this is our. T0, maximum current, 
2 to 8 microamps, obviously it's fully discharged, so the voltage is zero. Okay, so as soon as I remove the, the short circuit wire, the current's going to drop. I'm going to start the stopwatch at the same time. Okay, are we ready? Right, that should do. So we've got two minutes there. We've got two minutes. That will we'll keep uh, we'll keep going until the uh, the the maximum voltage is reached. Um, but yeah, around right about two minutes should be fine. Now for the dock. Okay, we've got time and charging current. So you need to pick um, a nice range of values, of equally spaced values of time and charging current over uh, um, the course of the charging. Don't forget to write down the, 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 the voltage, the voltage that, this, that this reached, okay? Um, um, when you stopped timing, so your last, you want the voltage for your last measurement of time, okay? Right, you're then going to plot a graph. Okay, I need a, uh, a graph of, of, of current against time. And like I said in the slides, you need to estimate the area. Okay, so take into consideration that the current is measured in microamps, and obviously time is in seconds, so that's fine. So it's a count the squares job, isn't it? Right, so if you've got graph paper, that is brilliant. Or if you can do that in Kami, I want a nice estimate of the charge stored on the capacitor and then we're going to use that value with our final charging voltage and then we're going to find C. So there you have it, estimating the charge stored on a capacitor. So that's still going. Okay. However, as explained, the final voltage that you want, that you're going to use in the uh, capacitance equals charge over voltage, is the voltage when you stopped timing. So for your last value of time and current, whatever the value of the voltage was. Right, thank you very much.